Uh, this weather this evening, we got rain coming in from the south. By 9 o'clock, could already have developed into the Omaha metro, and uh, it's already going on to the south of us. You know, we're in severe weather season, and uh, there's still time for you to get one of these weather radios, which I alerted the sound of safety to folks that were watching at 5 o'clock, but I'll spare you here uh, at this time. But 10 to 1, we're going to be out programming these weather radios. You can purchase at all the hy V stores this Saturday again, Peony Park, 7910 Cass Street. There's the rain on Super Doppler 7 radar. It's part of this complex of rain and clouds coming up from the south. And there is severe weather way down south over Texas, but the air is pretty dry around here, kind of stable. So we're just looking at general rainfall for eastern Nebraska and western portions of Iowa, which is good. Can always use some moisture this time of the year. And there's our hourly planner 69 degrees and cloudy at 7. Showers by 9, 11, 1, 3, 5, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with temperatures in the middle 50s. Here's how it looks outside at the present time our SkyCam network view from our TV station tower that's 480. Light traffic, there is the cloud cover. Here is our hourly planner for this evening and tonight again the temperatures dropping off. We mentioned uh, with the rain coming in, currently cloudy and 70. There is a southeast breeze blowing, but the air is still pretty dry. You see the temperatures around 70, but south of us it's cooler in the 60s because it's already raining in Falls City and Beatrice and Nebraska City and soon to be here in the Omaha area. That's our storm predictor. Had the strong south winds today. There's the rain indicated by 11 o'clock tonight. The south winds continue tonight. The rain, pretty widespread. Our computer model suggests a half an inch to three quarters of an inch across a good chunk of eastern Nebraska and for most of Iowa. Then it lifts out, but late in the day, might see another sprinkle. Then a big question mark is where is this front going to settle in? Uh, overnight, Thursday night, it's possible there could be an isolated shower or storm along the front, though our computer model doesn't do it. Uh, Friday, where is the front? Because along the front, we're going to be pretty warm. Could be a couple of scattered strong storms. So we'll have to look at that. Not really very widespread at all, but something possible on Friday afternoon. 55 for the low tonight. Rain likely. No severe weather tonight. Just cloudy and mild and a rainy start to tomorrow. With wet roads, you may want to plan on a bit of extra time getting to work and the kids to school in the morning, as often is the case. And 68 for the afternoon. Pretty cloudy. Maybe a couple of scattered sprinkles or showers still late in the day, but uh, there'll be some breaks in the uh, rainfall, certainly from about midday through 3 or 4 o'clock. So after the rain tomorrow, Friday should have some sun, much warmer, 80 degrees. But again, with the warm front in the area, we always watch out for a scattered storm to pop up. If one did, it could be a severe storm. Saturday, more likely we'll see some scattered severe thunderstorms in the evening. Then a front comes through. Look at the warm temperatures in the low 80s this weekend. And it's back to much cooler again. By